and give a word of testimony. These young men of God are part of Reverend Jean Martin's party, and they have received miracles and a word from the Lord, and they'd like to share it with you. And I, I just love these young men so much. They're so filled with God and so ready to do what the Lord would have them to do, working close by the side of Reverend Martin. And the first young man I'm going to ask to come is uh, Evangelist Dennis Martin, which is Reverend Martin's nephew. And I want him to come and give you a word of testimony. Praise the Lord. Amen. In 1976, when I first got saved and Sister Allen was ministering in Greensboro in our camp meeting at the 2.30 service, and we had left home from the 10.30 service and went home and I was sleeping and the Lord began to deal with me in a dream about my ministry. And Sister Allen was in the 2.30 service, ministering in the 2.30 service, and as she called the prayer line and she didn't know anything about me, didn't know who I was or anything, and as I began to come through and she laid hands on me, she told me just what I had just got through dreaming. And as she began to tell me that, amen. As she began to tell me just what I got through dreaming, she began to tell me what God was going to do within my ministry and how God was going to bless me. And within four years, God has did just what the woman of God had said. Amen. And I'm praising God for it tonight. And I'm thanking God for it. Praise the Lord. You talking about a preaching preacher. Boy, you talking about a preaching preacher. Hallelujah. Last night he was preaching so good here. His uncle, Curtis Eugene, stood up and said, Preach, O Lena's grandson. <laughs> That's his mama. <laughs> and we also have a part of Brother Martin's party, uh, Brother Steve Dadnam. Come here, Steve. This is one of my spiritual sons. <laughs> oh, he's just a little short fella. Amen. That's doing the work for the Lord. Amen. And Steve has lived in my home, has been my son since God saved him, my God, working here in the church with me for a season, and now is on the road with Reverend Gene Martin, and he has a word of testimony that he wants to share with you. Praise the Lord. You know, I thank God for this ministry. I thank God for how he saved me. More important part, I thank God for how he healed my body. One time I was suffering with asthma, and I didn't know what I was going to do. Couldn't play no kind of sports, couldn't have fun, couldn't do nothing. But one day, a man of God and the lady of God got together. I called my mother, Sister Allen, to Chicago, and I was telling her, I said, Mama, I'm suffering with asthma. She said, Son, let's pray about it. She asked me, she said, is there anything too hard for God? She said, is anything too hard for God? I said, no, ma'am. She said, let's just God and agree about it. Somewhere through that telephone, God touched my body. You see, somebody don't believe that God is a healer. But I'm standing up here and let you know that God will do anything. He said he would do. I don't mind giving God the glory. I don't mind praising God. Because he's been too good to me. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. My Lord. Not only did he touch my body, but he touched my father's body. Why don't you give the Lord a great big hand clap? I guess you felt the power there. And you get a man that big filled with power, you got a big man that's full of power. Amen. And at this time, and at this time, my friend, a man of God all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, Evangelist Curtis Eugene Martin, coming in his own way, and he's going to take this thing out for the glory of God. Give him a loving hand clap. Well, he didn't have to do it, but he did. Well, he didn't have to do it, but he did. Well, he woke me up this morning, starting on my way. Didn't have to do it, but he did. Well, he didn't have to do it, but he 